Hello, this is Mary Gunn of Mary Gunn Fun, founder and head professor of Fun University, but also the author of a scrapbook book, a scrapbook book book called a Scrapbook Lifesaver. How many books can a book chucker chuck if a book chucker could chuck books? Uh, that was from another story. But anyway, this is a, a layout that has eight stories on it. How did I get eight stories in the first place? Well, I looked at my camera, or I looked at my calendar. All these things that start with C and went oh my gosh we're over halfway done with the year and I have I'm gonna go back and see what kind of random pictures I have so I did and I came up with eight that I thought were worthy of um, a tail so not that the pictures were great not that the tails were great but they were worthy enough for me to pick up a camp my phone take a picture of it and send it on a text a Facebook message a email, whatever I added it to, um, something or other made me think of something to tell somebody. So, you know, that's all, that's all good. So I made a page with eight random stories. Now you will notice there's quite a bit of story going on here. And that didn't happen. Actually, it did happen overnight because I did sketch out just a few little facts and do a little bit of, little bit of, um, writing out some ideas and stories yep yep even taking the same basic space that a story would get and then it did take me overnight because i did go to sleep not very well maybe i was not very sleeping well because i was worried about these but i doubt it i think it was something else but yeah so um then this morning i got up and typed them up and they're they're good they're just telling why the heck I would have a squirrel? Why, why would I have some beautiful flowers? Why is there a tree branch on? This is actually a very interesting story. Well, maybe not to anybody but me. And um, why do we have a purple light? Why do I have Oreos? A movie? A kind of a weird thing? And then some plates with French on them. So what's on your camera roll? What have you taken a picture of in the last seven months that you sent a picture? Maybe you don't do that. Oh my gosh, do people not do that? I guess they could. I do it all the time. <laughs> so anyway, but if you don't have anything on your camera roll, let's get with it. <laughs> Look at some things that you don't you don't want to forget and send it to somebody and just tell them you're thinking about them. Um, you may notice also there's not a lot of embellishments because I have so much story and so many pictures, there's not going to be a lot of embellishments. And here is a tip. I look at embellishments as emoticons to support the story and the photos, not as the be-all and end-all of the layout. I know it's almost heretical, but it's true. Think, this is about a tree. I added a little tree. This is about a squirrel. I added a little squirrel, and it says, hand over the sunflower seeds and no one gets hurt. Um, I just... Here's this about plates. So I found some little silverware. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what to tell you except that I get a lot of bang for my layouts. And that is one of the reasons because I add embellishments as emoticons and to support the story, not the other, and not as a starting place and then building, finding a story to fit those things. Um, what else would you ever want to know about this? This is a story, and there are eight involved. I'm not going to bore you with them, but I do have a tip for you. I do, I do, I do. Besides that, so besides, always take a picture of your latest Oreo purchase. That's not really the tip. So this little guy, so I typed all of these. I'm good with that. I can always sign it, and there, that's a whole other thing involved with my book. And um, I do encourage those things, but I do have a technique for that as well. Um... Vellum, score lined uh, notebook paper, a little bit of smudge on there, and outline it so you know where the vellum is in case your eyes aren't real strong. And then you can write white to go on a dark picture or can write dark with dark ink. I forgot the width. 
for a light picture. And it just becomes a little caption. See how it works? Then you just have to make sure that you glue it down. I was going to use Brad's, but I didn't. And I'm fine. I just used some scraps. I've got other tips and tricks on here. I will be going over this with my Club Fun group and... Uh, Club Fun, let me just give you a little rundown. Here's your advertisement. Club Fun is a website where we have, where we host a Club Fun scrapbook game every month, which keeps me moving forward. And we have a downloadable, I think it's got 60 pages, scrapbook lifesaver book that is full of forms, lists, ideas, broken into our steps, our processes, all those kind of things that you may be muddling around, just going, your brain may just be in a tornado spin, not knowing what to do next for scrapbooking. Well, this thing takes care of that. We also have a monthly plan and chat meeting. Um, and what else do we have? Seems like there's something else. Oh, master classes <laughs> that are actually planned. <laughs> Yes, I do process videos and tip videos that support the life the scrapbook lifesaver book. All right, that's all I got to tell you today. But look at your camera roll. What's on your camera roll? Do you need to go ahead and print some pictures out and just make a random page like this? You know what? Life goes fast. You don't remember everything. There's too much coming in to remember it. So take a moment. Look at this, 1997. We were so happy to find that. Okay, so anyway, I, I could tell you stories. Yes, I'm not going to. I want to hear your stories. Join us on clubfun.com.